A large cyber scam attacked New Haven Public Schools this week. More than 1,000 phishing links were opened by students. News aides Preston Stober has the details. More than 10,000 fraudulent emails sent to students. More than half of the entire student body received one of those emails. What they attempted to do is to get bank account information from the students, and that did not happen um, to our knowledge. Although no students have come forward with financial theft, the school system believes that some students filled out fraudulent forms. They found out about the scam on Monday. Mayor Ehrlicher says that the emails have been wiped from the system and the school is no longer under threat from this attack. He says city employees undergo phishing scam training. With students, I don't think there's a, as robust a training, and so I think that's something that we should be working more on. Uh, and after this, it's certainly something that we'll be having conversations about. The scam began when hackers gained access to at least four student emails. Then the email blast started. From one, they can go to four, and from four, they can go to hundreds or thousands. Quinnipiac cybersecurity professor Frederick Scholl says the attack sounds major, as young students would especially be at risk. It's uh, like the Trojan horse going into Troy. That's kind of what these things are. They're, unfortunately, uh, it sounds like there's a lot of many Trojan horses on many different systems, which is really hard to defend against. Scholl says the malware from phishing attacks can be very difficult to remove from a system. New Haven students have been instructed by the school to not interact with any suspicious emails, alert the school's IT department and their own personal financial institution if they have been affected, and affected students may need to reset their passwords. Scholl says schools are a growing target of cyber gangs. School systems that have to be running pretty much full all, all the time, they can't shut down. So. The attackers have changed their focus, and um, it's unfortunate it is hard to defend against. News 8 reached out to the New Haven Police Department regarding the attack, but have not received any of those details just yet. We will keep you updated when we do. Preston Stober, News 8.